All right, uh, let's look at this uh, following um, uh, word problem. All right, so it says this. Uh, the principal of a school is hosting a small luncheon for her staff. She plans to prepare two sandwiches for each person. All right, so everyone gets two sandwiches. Uh, uh, some staff members offer to bring salads and the beverages. All right, the principal has a budget of $225 and expect at least, expects at least 16 people to attend. Uh, sandwiches uh, cost $3 each. All right, select all the uh, uh, equations and inequality that could represent the constraints in the situation, where N is the number of people attending and S is the number of sandwiches. All right, so let's look at that. All right, so if you look at the, uh, all the inequalities here, and it only talks about the, uh, the number of people and also the number of sandwiches. So you can immediately uh, uh, ignore this. Uh, some staff members offer to bring salad, salads and the beverages. So ignore salads and the beverages because none of these are talking about them. All right. So uh, let's uh, let's start with that. So here, uh, whatever wherever uh, uh, the information is given, all right. So here, if you know that the two sandwiches, maybe I'll, I'll use a different color here, all right. It says that two sandwiches for each person. So you see that. Uh, so to do that, we have to have uh, uh, twice as many uh, number of sandwiches as the number of people there right so you can see that the number of sandwiches is twice the number of people so this will give uh, the equality d right and what else says given uh, it says the principal has a budget of uh, 200 uh, 225 dollars right so we are only talking about the the cost of sandwiches, and uh, each sandwiches uh, sandwiches uh, sandwich cost three dollars, right? So three dollars times the number of sandwiches cannot exceed two hundred twenty-five. So you can see that the here uh, three times the number of sandwiches uh, cannot exceed two hundred twenty-five. So we we would have that. All right, what else is given? Uh, here, they expect at least 16 people. So number of people is N, uh, at least 16. So it has to be greater than or equal to 16. So you can see that the N is greater than or equal to 16 would be uh, one of them. All right, and uh, I think that's about it. Let's check the other ones. Uh, so number of people is greater than or equal to 32. Uh, we don't get that information from anywhere, so that wouldn't be it. And the number of sandwiches must be less than 32. Uh, you don't have that constraint either. All right? And then three times the number of people uh, is less than or equal to 325. So this is a kind of a uh, try to make it confusing with the 3s is less than or equal to 225. Uh, it's a three dollars per sandwich. It's not three dollars per person. So this wouldn't be it. So we have uh, three inequality that are possibly the constraints uh, in this uh, question. All right. Uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.